Then again. All right. Sorry about that. I hope that works now. Freaking internet. Jeez. So yeah, um, it's not, it not this, I mean, it's, yeah, it's Comcast's fault. So basically the guy, the guy came out and, um, checked out my internet and, um, basically there were some, there was a couple wires on the outside of my house that needed some, like some cleaning or whatever. He like cleaned the wires up. He got the signal to noise ratio all increased, but is after he did all his work to fix it up the internet. Um, it still wasn't any faster. It wasn't like it used to be with the upload speed. So basically he had to call in to have some other team of guys or whatever come out and check the poles. So like the where the actual cable internet connects to the telephone poles and all that, they have to come out and check that sometime this week. So now it's like this nebulous thing. I don't know when they're going to come this week to try and fix that. So And it's not like they're even going to tell me if when they do fix it. And whatever. So the point is, he said maybe by this Friday I'll have my internet working how it was again. If not, I can call him again, and reschedule another thing. So, anyways, the point is, you guys on the stream, you're not gonna be able to see the code I write today because I have to stream at really low quality to even get it to stay alive. So it's gonna be blurry code today. <clears throat> You guys started a, a minimalistic game about hockey in space, right on. What's up, professional novice and everybody else that's just joined? What's up, Alex Pita? Yeah, it's a pixel stream today. So I'm going to be working on... Um, the ice bomb and possibly the fear bomb today and but I almost got the Linux build working so I want to see what um, what happens so I'm running to this certain point where I'm pretty sure it's gonna crash oh no I think I just crashed my virtual box that's not an actual black screen Oh man, how do you? I totally did crash it. Oh well. I'll just do this later. Oh wait, wait, it can't. Oh. Hey, wait, there it is. Oh, there it is. All right, all right. Figured it out. Okay, so I'm trying to run the Linux build here. Application did finish launching. Uh, next. Uh, I don't know what to do with this right now. I gotta figure out GDB and figure out why the game is crashing when it's malocking here on Linux. But soon, Songbringer will have a Linux build. That's pretty cool. Space pilot, huh, Scottish? Cool. Nice, man. Looks really beautiful. Should they be the inspiration for the crowd? Should they be in a stadium or should they be standing along the outside of the rink? Uh, I guess it depends on what how big of a team they are. Yeah. 
All right, so today I'm working on the ice bomb, the fear bomb, the strings for, there needs to be a string for the ice bomb, the fear bomb. We well, already got the fear bomb, it's just the ice bomb. Okay, we got a text for the ice bomb. Ghost, well, those are cool. Blink, fire, ice, lightning, poison, blink. And there's a couple more top hats too. Ice, um, lightning top hat, fear top hat. Oops. Oh, what? Uh. Cool, we got ice bomb text. Poison blink, light upgrade. I don't have any of these advanced top. Let's, let's give the player one of these top hats as well. So I start remembering to check this item. Fire top, lightning top hats, one of the new ones. Font size one. Lighting top hat. Yes, good. And what if I did the fear top hat? What if I had both of them? Cool. Fear top hat upgrade. Lighting top hat. Awesome. That's one of the bugs on Trello I can get crossed off, actually. You haven't got a chance to play the newest build? Oh, you're going to be pleasantly surprised. Top hat icon doesn't work. What does that mean? Oh, when you equip the fear top hat, that's right. That's a quick fix too. So if I had the fear top hat, which I crafted in one of the runs I did the other day. So I have the regular top hat and the fear top hat upgrade should be showing, but it's not. So that's got to be very actually. No, no, no. That's in. Um, Oh, man, I've not had enough sleep today. Where the hell? Uh, game scene. Set item.
Must be this fine crafted top hat. It starts with oh, it's just because it didn't do the right ones. It's like these and it fear. Also, fire, fear, blink. Yep. Fire bomb, fear bomb. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's fixed. It should be fixed now. Is the fear sword just changes the effect of the ghost sword, or does it make it more damaging? It also makes it more damaging. Yeah, it does twice the damage. I think twice the damage, and um, also it's gonna soon have an effect where um, using um, using any kind of fear thing will cause enemies to either be pa I'm not sure exactly how it'll work, but it'll be some kind of bonus. Like they'll be panicked. They'll either they'll run away, maybe. They, I don't. I kind of want to make them less than just stun. So probably they'll run away. Yeah, it'll be like they run away, and also the fear sword does more damage. Um, and also the fear swords, the ghost swords, all the ghost swords now do. They last longer. So if, if I get hurt, they're pretty bad. The fear sword goes pretty far. And it always launches. There used to be a time when if you connected your sword with somebody, it wouldn't actually launch the ghost sword. So now it does all the time. I gotta run at 30 frames a second. My computer's already starting to get hot. Okay, there's two bugs fixes already. Let's cross this off Trello as well for your top hat icon. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so this is D. Oh, this needs to be checked into the master branch. What if I do that right now? It's going to be crazy. Oh, this is stuff I, again, I really want to check it into the master branch anyways. Except for gear component. And strings. Hey, nice job, Rocket Bunny. That's cool. I don't think the colors are bad at all. Yeah, way to be proud, man. Nice, you got level logic, Teak? Right on. Yeah, does that feel good? Have that done? Level logic? The risk reward is super cool. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's not just, no, no, yeah, hardball. It's not just that. Yeah, it definitely does. It, it's a whole unique thing. It's a unique weapon. And also, um, this fear concept will also apply to the top hat and the bombs and everything else you can craft too. So um, that's something I'm going to... Uh, specialize on for probably a whole stream I'll spend it just like working on fear and the effect of fear on enemies so now we should now we're ready to apply ice and do some effects so when the ice bomb explodes I want the ice bombs to do like more damage basically we're in like a really dark area I'm gonna move the the player to a lighter area Oh, that's level nine. Yeah, there you go, no hard coding, right. Nice. 
mais. Ice Bomb effect works, like it freezes enemies for a good portion of time. And what's great about the Ice Bombs and other Ice Effects is that they do some damage when, they, when, the, when the enemy is unfrozen. So this is a really useful weapon. See that? It like, it does damage right at the very end. So next I want to make it so it does a really big effect when the um, when the ice bomb goes off. It'll be kind of like the fear bomb, how it just does a huge effect. Uh, I don't know where I did that effect for the fire bomb. Maybe I can look it up. Firebomb, firebomb. Is it here? Yeah, here it is. Fire explosion. Alright, this means I'm going to need an animation for the ice explosion. In fact, while I'm at this, I might as well make an animation for all the other exp explosions I'm going to need. Like, ice explosion, fire, ice explosion, poison explosion, explosion, lightning explosion, and fear explosion. Fire, ice, lightning, poison, fear. Fire trail, ice, lightning, wait, ghost, fire, ice, lightning, poison, fear, where's fear? Oh, there's fear particles. Yeah, fire, ice, lightning, poison, fear. Fire trail, poison trail. These are things that leave a trail of like I guess for now I don't need to put those in just yet. Getting feedback while your game is rough. Yes it is, it can be. Yeah, that's good, man. It's good. You got to get um you got to get some thick skin built up, you know? When people give you feedback, what's great about kindergartners is they're going to give you honest feedback, and that's the kind of feedback you want. So, it's good to hear that, and you just you just got to be able to take it, you know? And thing is, it takes a long, long time to make a really good game. So, that's why that's why feedback can hurt at first, you know? That's why sometimes you want to like wait to try and even get feedback. Like you want to wait I don't know, six months even before you, before you're really looking for quality feedback from people. Why is 1080p the only 16 by 9 resolution? It's not. There's several other 16 by 9 resolutions. But what do you mean? There's also there's also 840 by 480, um, 420 by 240, 1680 by whatever. They're all 16 by 9. 
Was that? Did you have a different question or something? Am I not? Am I not understanding the question or something? Fire explosion, ice explosion, lightning explosion, poison, fear. All right, let's try to compile this. All right, while that's working, I'm gonna hook up uh, an ice explosion method. And this is all fire methods. I'll put this by the ice methods. Ice explosion. Okay, so now I just got to get it to like <clears throat> spew out ice. This is a this creates a whole bunch of little fire entities and makes them jump all over the place. But I don't want to do that. I want to do like ice particles. But man, there's a lot to these. Diesel Pirate, you made your way through a C++ book last week. Then you tried SDL2, found myself to be more comfortable SFML. Oh, hey, yeah, do I recommend Coco CX for a complete beginner? No, I don't. I don't actually recommend it for a complete beginner. Unless, I mean, unless you're already getting comfortable with SDL2 and SFML. It really depends. It really depends. You might, you know what you want, you should probably do, Diesel Pirate? You should probably just go get C, go get Coco CX and try it out real quick, you know? Like, I don't know, maybe spend a whole day just trying out Coco CX. And then to see, see if it's like something you like. And I think it's great that you're coming from Game Maker. That seems like a really, I, it seems like a really great way to get introduced to making games in general. There's no 1280 by 720. You want 1280 by 720? I mean, we can add that. Why? Why do you want that? Friend of my hockey game at the moment is running 500 frames per second. Nice. Yeah, I watched a little bit of the football. You prefer American? Whoa. Judo. Okay, I guess the thing to do here is to make a little ice method. So I'm just gonna call this little ice. Convert this to little ice. Um, you can even make them look like ice by setting their color.
want? 720p? Ah. Uh, what team do I support? I don't really support any teams. I'm not really like a... Uh, I don't really have time to watch watch sports. You know? I mean, I, lo I love watching sports. It's cool. It's a great activity. You know, I always have fun doing it. But, like, I just don't have time to get it involved and follow teams and support teams. So, I don't know. I guess I've just been more of a gamer my whole life. Let's call that ice explosion. All right, I want the color of ice. Super Space Puck. All right, set up some ice colors. <laughs> I voted for I'm not a bot. Get one more color. All right, let's see if this builds. Scottish space puck. The most common resolution for screens. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, okay, so it's more for like when you're recording and stuff. I get it. All right. Yeah, no problem. I can definitely do that. Okay, now I just need to play the ice particle effect. Ice explosion. <laughs> yeah, Super Space Buck's a great name. I succeeded. All right, great. Let's get this. Oops. Still spewed out fiery particles. Probably because they are fire. They need to be ice now. Okay, I just want them to be a regular pixel. They're not gonna have a dying animation, but let's see what it looks like with just a regular pixel. Yeah, so hardboiled, are there any other are there any other um, resolutions I should be to put in there? Every time you use your city advantage platinum. Uh ads. Oh, 
it worked. It worked, but it's it still didn't do the right color particles. Oh, probably fire. Oh, that's it. Fire colors. <laughs> nice. Thanks, Hardboiled. Add 4K. You want 4K? There's already maximum. There's already the maximum display that whatever your display is at. Is 4K really a resolution I should add? I could add 480, I guess. No way, there already is 480. Okay, yeah, it looks like I'm just missing the 720, so that should be... Be easy. Um, let's make each one of these bigger. <laughs> don't feed the bots, don't feed the bears! Yay, look, we finally have a little icy... Oops, it's doing the dying animation for fire, though. Dying anim... Don't do that. Get rid of this dying animation. There really is no NM action, but there might be. Now they just need to fade out. They should fade a little faster. Fade out. Fade duration. What's fade duration? Oh, fade duration is from the call. Call duration. Fade duration. 0, 0.0? I see why. I think that should be a whole second. Should fade out for a while. It should be able to be a little bigger, so let's get set scale up to four. Why not allow all resolutions the computer can handle? Because there's no way to know that programmatically, unless you're the Windows desktop application or whatever. You know, there's just no way to know that. Unless there is a way to know that, but in, in that case, show me the API. For Windows, Mac, and Linux. But even then, I don't know if it's really necessary to do that. It should be a little bigger, actually. Maybe they should start at two. Yeah. <laughs> 
It doesn't like the decimal points. There is one in OpenGL, really? But that's not what we want, T. This is windowed mode, right? This is talking about windowed mode, which means, you know, this is when you run the game. Instead of being full screen, you can run it at all these other resolutions like medium. And the point of the point of these is for like streamers like Harpwell, he, when he's playing the game, he needs to have a specific window that's a specific resolution, not necessarily the resolution of the whole display. So you see what I'm saying? If I were to go and allow all the resolutions that a display can handle, that wouldn't fulfill the need. The need is for different size windows, not the size of the screen. What's up, Pema? Scottish Pizza streaming it too, right on. Were those big enough? Let's see this again. Can they get hit while they're frozen? I'm not sure, that's a good question. Let's try it out. No, you can't get you can't get hurt while they're frozen. Probably. Oh yeah, they can. Yeah, they can definitely get hurt while they're frozen. That's right. Yeah, so the the, the point is for them to be like basically stunned. This is a lot like it's just like a stun effect. See that? I wonder if there should be a little animation. The need for stream. You should get the same performance no matter what you have the res set to, right? You should, but is there some problem where you're not getting that? This will sink if it hits. If it hits like uh, the sky. Oh, you're just curious right on. Yeah, well, um, yeah. What's it right now? Um, oh yeah, what I was trying to say is um, uh, the game. The game's current full resolution. The game runs, I think, at the same. It still performs at six. It depends on your computer. <laughs> it totally depends on your computer. But yeah, the game should run at the same at any resolution because it's using a frame buffer. It means it's putting all of its pixels down in a tiny little corner, twenty by twenty, two hundred forty resolution first and so that makes it really really high performance game so it should just it should be really easy for it to perform well those need to last a little longer and i kind of miss them being a set scale one what's up gooding Let's make them fade longer and stay alive longer too. Fade duration, ground duration. No, no fake accounts, no fake accounts. <laughs> What's up, Zyger? That's pretty good. 
the next thing I want to make the the scale bigger so let's go white float scale And this is going to be scale, and this is going to be scale times k y move or move move system y factor. So now they'll be a little shorter on the y, look more like they're at the right perspective. Yeah, boogie, they don't count. They don't count. Don't want no fake followers. Redefinite. Oh, we already got scale. Where is scale being used at? Oh, it already used scale there. Okay, this should be scale times equals. <laughs> I can't follow your point. <laughs> Something happened with the scale there. It's this. Oh, uh, Bus is already adding some some randomness to its scale. A little little ice float scale. This should just be 1.0 now. Or, oh. Set the scale proper right here. Mark on Sue, bit random. Is Coco CDX supporting to switch between full screen and window mode in runtime? No, it is not. Good question. Great question. Yeah, it won't it won't let you do that. It creates a it creates a, like a separate kind of window for full screen. bigger I think especially now that, that Y scale has like been changed a little Pretty good. <clears throat> now I think it'd be better actually if the uh, this little thing, this little entity. This function was just more flexible, so I could call it for the ice one or the fire one. Oh, really, Azenris? Oh, the next version of GLFW will do it. Well, that's good to know. That would be awesome. Then I wouldn't have to force people to restart to change their from full screen. Okay, so that's great. This is all working good. The only thing is um, I want, the, want it to be like fire particles or fire, little fire.
So say we all. Yeah, Doom. Yeah, you can change your aspect ratio. Yep, this is probably one of the most comprehensive video mode screens ever. Yeah, you could do that. You could relaunch the game. You w I wouldn't even need a command line argument, really. Oh, it's a mod of doom. So I want to see the difference between little ice and little fire. I should be able to call them both the same. And then if I just give it some more parameters, like I'll have like a f animation parameter, a dying animation parameter, um, a sound parameter, a sizzle sound parameter. Whoa. That's great. Because it was so big. So if that was like 0 0.5. Yeah, lava! Lava! Watch out! Don't touch the ground! Good. Okay, so now I think I'm ready to, to merge these two functions. I'm gonna keep it as little little fire for now. No, I'll rename it right now. Let's call this little explosion. Ground pause, scale, fall duration, ground duration, fade duration, fall height, jump height. And then format. Dying in M format. Sound key. Water sound key. There you go, yeah, don't worry about making AI. <laughs> yes, AI player dot y equals puck y. Fire percent D, fire die, burn, sizzle. So it's going to be called little explosion. This one is pixel.ping, nothing. No sound for now, and then sizzle. 
when it hits the water. Actually, maybe just no, no sounds just yet. And then fire explosion, same thing, little explosion. Yeah. Fire, fire, die, burn, and sizzle. Okay, what's the problem? Oh, little explosion. I forgot about this one. Okay, now that we have these methods combined, let's see if it's working. Alright, that didn't do right. Oh, I don't think I hooked up the right. Yeah, I didn't even hook these up. This is NM format. It's dying NM. This is um, dying. An M format, and then it can run the animation. This means that even even the outro animation needs a, a format. I think. Oh, I forgot to hook up the sounds too. Man, got to sleep enough every night. That always helps. We had this crazy power outage this morning that just woke me up. I'm like, whoa, everything's silent. I should wake up now that everything's silent. Water sound key. Yeah, what's up, Yumi? Sorry about the quality. It's either that or no stream. My internet's crap. Something's wrong with my upload speed. I hope to get a fix it by next or this Friday. Let's see though. Oh, we also need colors. So this needs to be a const vector. Color 3B ref colors. Then you randomly select a color. Where, is it? Where are these colors? Where are you? There it is. Colors, DRAN, colors.size. And 
in this one. This is a really long method. Okay, ice colors. This one's fire colors. because I forgot, yep, I didn't hook that up. Let's fade that out. You slam us so much. Cubase, cool. You make music? That might be fading too long now. Let's put that back to one. And I wonder if it can run without that. Family Tracker, yeah. I have not used, I think I've, I've used the old, either I've used the, whatever the older one was before Family Tracker. Or was Family Tracker the original one from like, from way back in the day, like the 90s and the 80s. It needs one more thing, some random delay before it fades out. What's up, Happy Moose? What's the older tracker? There's a really, really old tracker. Yeah, Family Tracker, right. That's the Super NES, like, Japanese. Fami. Super Famicom. But there's another one. Very good. Ice explosions. Milky tracker. It wasn't Nerd Tracker. Nerd Tracker is an older one. I don't know. I don't remember. There's a, there's an older one though that I think Family Tracker is based on, but I, I could be wrong about this. Are both you do make music? Good for you, man. K 
Okay, we also have a fear bomb to try out. Oh, I want to see what happens when these ice explosions happen in the water, though. Yeah, how did that sound? Oh yeah, they should at least sizzle. So, sizzle. And yeah, I don't think they need to make a sound when they hit the ground. Right? Does a snowflake make a sound when it hits something? I don't think so. Papa is rigged. Is Rock Jesus? Mm -hmm. You found Jesus. Is he? Why do you ask that? <laughs> oh, because he's walking on water! Hey, look, it's not supposed to leave a burn mark. If it's on water. Let's take the burn mark off. Chib's like, what are you? Tentacle? Um, where does it leave burn marks? I think it's called lightning burn. Here it is, burn mark. Oh, I guess I could just make it real smart. Like it, the burn mark is smart enough to know. Not if water. So if world, we're already gonna get world area, so. Let's get world area. Area, get tile. At this pause. Uh, whoops, actually I just wanna do is tile. Is tile. Oh, that's not gonna work. I guess if contains Contains doesn't work. I'm pretty sure this works. Contains K okay, tiles water. Area get tile pause return. Collision mask bit for water? Yeah, there is a collision mask bit for water. Yep, I'm just doing it this way because it's a little faster. I don't have to go and actually do a whole collision check by because I can look up tiles at certain positions and water never moves. So there's really no point in checking mm -hmm. or doing it the slower way. Sweet. Yeah, and I, I like the sizzle too. It's nice to have a little sizzle when it hits the water. Okay, and if I go over here, it should still do a burn mark. Yeah, good. Alright, 
that's good. Awesome, we got the the ice bomb done today. Oh wait, no, there's a little more left to do with the ice bomb. It's uh, I commented out some stuff in AI system when it does mood. I think it not explode, but when it um, yeah, when it explodes. No, maybe it's not when it explodes. It's when it's when it applies collision ice. Slip not Miss Sugar Slayer. There's some piece of code where it it purposefully does not affect the player, but it Oh, I think it's here. Health system freeze. There we go. Okay, so I want it to be able to freeze the player as well. So if you get hit by your own bomb, you get frozen. Hey, thanks, Sumus. How you doing, man? So the problem with it is that the player gets frozen, frozen looking, but you can still move. So, basically the player should not be able to move. until they're unfrozen. And the player should never have his category set to like something else. So this should be if E collision original category is foe, then we're going to set the static category. So basically what that means is instead of stepping onto foes while they're frozen, you can, you can touch them. So you don't get hit, you don't get hurt when you touch a, a frozen enemy. This sets the shader to be frozen. This unfreezes. I think it just needs render flags. Okay, render. And then move locked. So whatever animation it's running, it'll it should pause. I wonder if it pauses the animation. Jack Black. <laughs> You're studying, working, and trying to develop rogue type platformer. Cool. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm totally frozen. Let's see if it works like a different way. So if I set a bomb and I'm moving, yeah, it looks like it paused me completely. But I don't know how it did that animation like that. I wonder if Jib can get hit too. Jib can get hit, look, Jib stuck. Ah, that's funny. Oh, wait, 
wait. Oh, I can unsheath. I think the player needs to, or the input system should like cancel all input. What are all these errors? All of a sudden it's not compiling C++ 14. So weird. Just all of a sudden I decided to not. It's like I forgot what language this was. Yeah, sorry about that, Certus. My internet has been crap for the last few weeks. The Grim Gary. What's up, Grim Gary? So, uh, yeah, the, I think the it needs to be the input system. Oh, and that allows you to start moving, too. Okay, so, yeah, input system should lock the player's input completely when you... Um, when you're move locked. So if E to uh, render, do you, I guess see this? Why is, why is all of a sudden Xcode not highlighting some code? Usually this is colored. Weird. If it has the render flag for Okay, render and then move locked, and we'll continue. So don't run any input for an entity that is locked. Can't use buttons. Game bro. Okay, good. I cannot draw the sword anymore. But now, yeah, now that I'm done. All right, that's a good move. Hopefully that does not introduce any other random bug into the game somehow. But knowing code, it probably did. Oh, I totally sheathed the sword though. Oh, there's a problem there somehow. So I think it's in health system freeze. some point it runs oh render system pause animation huh oh it needs to use its current skin Oh yeah, so profile get animation has two methods. There's one that takes a skin parameter, and we need to use the current skin. There. Yeah, the bombs are freezing rock. Yeah, you always get affected by your own bombs if you get hit with them. Yeah, totally, totally. You want to see the NPCs on Songbringer? 
They're not really NPCs yet, they need to like have dialogue and stuff, but they will eventually. Hey, there we go, now he's got the sword. Good. I think it automatically should just sheath the sword. Let's see if I get frozen while I'm holding the sword. No, good. Good, 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 good. So I'm totally locked, I can't do anything. Now I can. All right, this is a good little feature. I love being able to freeze, to be frozen. What this means is enemies eventually will be able to, to, be able to freeze you too. Jib did not get frozen that time. Why did you get frozen, little buddy? Oh, you know what? It probably did most of its damage to me. So where is it called freeze from? Oh, it goes, it calls it from AI system when it calls mood explode on a bomb. Oh, see? It just needs to do a vector of eids. So, eids.clear. And we're going to get collisions, eids. Oh, this is for eid. Okay, so hopefully this should affect both you and Jib by bombs. Ah, oh, Jib still didn't get hurt. Well, he got he got pushed back though that time. Yeah, there we go. Jib's totally affected. And I was affected by that same bomb. <laughs> Jib got Jib got knocked over. It's great. Jib, but Jib stuck forever. Oh, what happened to Jib? Oh, you know what? The freeze method. It does something here where it disables an AI completely. This needs to be if it's not a friend. Or actually if it's a foe. Set no mood. I think that the rest are just restoring. Yeah, so that should make it so Jib gets frozen, but it doesn't stop his AI. Yeah, he 
Everything's fine. Nice. This is great. This is really cool, because now, now you can be frozen by enemies if they have any kind of freezing effects, and eventually enemies definitely will have freezing effects. Also, you can be hit by your own bombs accidentally, or your own other kind of weapons that will eventually be in the game. Alright, this is great! You got hit with some velocity that time. Let's make sure e dot move dot velocity is zero. All right, Sumus. Good night, man. Oh, Jim. Jim was frozen and he's kept going. Oh, that's probably what happened with his velocity. Okay, let's keep that off. I think it's in AI system. Mood jib. If e dot render dot um flags. Okay, render and then move locked return. There, jib won't do anything if he's got that move locked flag. When it will is the button mashing for unfreezing will be implemented? I don't know. I can't say when I'm going to get to a particular bug. Have you seen my bug list? It's like 80 bugs deep. But I hear you. I know you want it to be done, and I do too. It's a very simple thing. Hopefully I can get to like 30 or 40 bugs this week. We'll see. Jim, where are you, what are you doing, Jim? All right, pizza. See ya. We're scot free now. <laughs> oh. All right. It's all good. <laughs> Buttons. All right, I think that's it for today's stream. Got the ice bomb totally finished. Let's go back to the. I'll go back one more time and I'll run it at this this mob screen. We'll fight some more mobs real quick, and that'll be it for today's stream. This is great. Got the ice bomb finished. Tonight I'll work on the fear bomb. Yeah, see you, Azenris. I got hit by my own bomb that last time. Otherwise, I would be rocking these guys. Okay, we set the bomb really far away. Yeah, this is a pretty useful bomb. It's like a, it's got a real utility factor to it. You're freezing everyone, but as long as you set it right, you're staying you're staying active. does as much damage, but I think you have the opportunity to do damage more with it. Yeah, later, later, everybody. Yeah, I know it's a quick stream, but it's, uh, I need to take a nap today. <laughs> so have a good one, you guys. Enjoy yourselves. There'll be a lot of Songbringer awesomeness this week, and then the beta will be the next week, the next weekend. So cheers.